Machines that mimic the human mind to quickly obtain a fast and reliable diagnosis or to develop an online advertising campaign. Is this possible? Yes, thanks to artificial intelligence. AI, a technology that has already become an essential technology in many processes. Hey there and welcome to Insomnia Delight channel. We hope you're having a great day. We're so excited to share this content with you and can't wait to see what you think of it. You like this content? Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Like and share it on social media to help other people reach it. It is present in sectors as varied as healthcare, transport, marketing, finance, and agriculture, and is already indispensable in all of them. Artificial Intelligence AI is a booming technology thanks to the versatility of its applications and its ability to facilitate processes. It improves outcomes in the areas where it is used, saving costs and even lives. And while it has burst into many areas of everyday life, many of its key aspects still remain unknown to the general public. What is artificial intelligence? Artificial intelligence is the ability of machines to mimic the way humans learn and even reason. Machines learn to perform tasks and improve them based on the information they have, just as a human would. This branch of computing aims to replicate cognitive processes in machines. Depending on what you are trying to replicate, there are artificial intelligence is that think like humans and others that act like humans, taking into account emotionality and other similar aspects such as creativity. Thus, since the beginning of research in this field, after the end of World War II, experts have sought to synthesize, emulate, and automate any task involving the intervention of intelligence. This includes problem solving, planning, language processing, and interaction between individuals. So it is a field with universal applications. How does an AI work? For artificial intelligence to work, it needs data, which is why the development of this technology has gone hand in hand with other technologies such as big data, Internet of Things, and the 5G mobile network. It is this information that enables the creation of patterns for machines and system software with which to learn. In addition to this data, it also uses algorithms. Algorithms are a set of instructions for machines to enhance patterns. That is, predetermined behaviors are created to handle the data. It is from the control processing of information that the AI will derive the behavioral patterns it will develop over time. Thus, the combination of algorithms and data means the AI can learn automatically and enables it to focus on one or several specific tasks. The different types of artificial intelligence. Not all artificial intelligence is work in the same way. This is because there are different strategies for their creation and the development of the skills required of them. The European Commission points out to software and integrated. The former is used in virtual assistants, image analysis, search engines, voice and face recognition systems. The second is linked to IoT, robots, drones and autonomous cars. There are other classifications based on functionalities and capacity building. Machine learning is included here as it has important distinctive features. These are the keys to each AI. Functionality based. These are intelligence is that are able to take on problems or challenges, but cannot learn from their past actions. So they are more limited. For example, IBM's famous Deep Blue would be in this group, capacity-based. These intelligences have memories that give them the opportunity to learn automatically from their own past behavior. Consequently, it is the most developed field at present. In fact, 
those known as artificial superintelligence have been shown to outperform humans in a number of ways. Machine Learning ML Rather than a type of artificial intelligence per se, it is about the way AI learns. If there is ML, then learning is carried out autonomously by the system itself without human intervention. This sounds complex, but it already works in systems that anticipate the consumption preferences of individuals in many areas. However, the best known and perhaps most complex is that of her enhance, professor of integrative biology and computer science at the University of Michigan who speaks of reactive machines, machines with limited memory, theory of mind and intelligence with self-awareness or self-awareness. The latter is the furthest from being developed, but at the same time, the biggest challenge. Current applications of AI, although AI is a system that helps solve complex problems, its use is more commonplace than many people realize and such is its potential that it is estimated that within five years it will generate more than $400 billion and grow by 36% each year, according to a study by Markets and Markets. Dedicated to market research, there are other artificial intelligences that go more unnoticed, such as a smartphone's voice assistant, automatic translations, language training support, internet search engines, and online shopping. This technology is also involved in the design of robots, so it is becoming increasingly important in Industry 4.0, and even livestock and agriculture are benefiting from it, with uses such as monitoring the health of animals and the state of crops. The transport of goods and people is another sector that has evolved thanks to artificial intelligence. Calculating routes efficiently or modifying them if conditions change are some of their current tasks. An autonomous car steered by AI will be able to avoid collisions and bring road fatalities down. But the healthcare sector will see the greatest growth in the use of artificial intelligence along with machine learning. It is already used to obtain accurate diagnoses and to assess imaging diagnostics or clinical trials. Mental health care tools have also been developed that can detect suicidal tendencies, saving lives. There are even hospitals that have implemented chat rooms in which an AI makes the first contact with the patient to create a prognosis of what is happening to them. 